You know, deciding to keep your dog safely contained on your property while giving him the freedom to run and play is smart. However, deciding which type of fence to purchase and install is a little more difficult. Believe me, I know. I'm in the process of choosing a fence right now. So let me share some of what I've learned with you, the types of fences available, and the pros and cons of each. And maybe it'll help you decide which fence is best for your property, your pet, and your budget. Let's take a look at what's available. Your first fencing option is the most obvious and the most visible, traditional above-ground structural fencing. Choices include wood, vinyl, or chain link. But be sure to check any neighborhood covenants to see if fences are allowed, and if they are, what restrictions on height and style may exist. Your next door neighbor may also have something to say about a fence, your property line, and, well, you get the idea. There's really no training for your dog to keep him on your property. You're creating a physical barrier after all. But keep in mind, some dogs do like to dig or jump. Calculate your material costs based on the area you need to fence in. My estimate shows a wood fence for a third of an acre will cost around $2,500, not including installation costs if you hire a professional. Regular maintenance is also required too. Your second option is the buried wire electric fence. A trench needs to be dug along the determined boundary area for an electric wire, and that can take some time and elbow grease, unless you want to pay an installer to do it. That's up to you. The wire is then connected to a main controller in your home. Training is important so your dog understands where he's allowed to run and play, and you should allow up to two weeks for training to be successful. Your dog's receiver collar delivers either a tone or a mild static correction, remember it's an electric fence, to warn him to move back into the safe roaming area. A buried wire fence offers you flexibility in layout and even lets you create exclusion or off-limit zones for your dog, like around a vegetable garden or a pool. There's no maintenance with these systems, but if you sever a wire digging a garden, for example, it'll have to be repaired. An in-ground kit will cost you around $150 to $300, but budget more if you'll be hiring an installer. The third fence option is a wireless electric fence. Wireless systems work by transmitting a radio signal from a base station in your home to the boundary area you set around your home. There are actually two kinds of wireless systems. The most common, a radial fence, forms a circular boundary around your home. The second is a customizable wireless system. This system lets you shape the layout of your boundary and exclude sections within the roaming area to keep your dog away from the pool or that rose garden you just planted. Your dog receives the warning or correction, so again, training is important so he understands where his boundaries are. One important thing to know here. Not all properties are suited for wireless systems, so if you own a house with aluminum siding or a property with a lot of trees, you may want to consider another option. Because no digging is required, installation is quick, easy, and cost-effective too, at a price of around $300 to $375 for a radial wireless fence. A custom wireless fence would be higher, around $800. Go get it! So you got all that? Those are your fencing options in a nutshell. I hope I've been of some help. Just remember to consider your property, your budget, your installation requirements, and ongoing maintenance, and you'll make the right decision for you and your dog.